my name is Karan and today we are discussing YouTube's copyright policy. Nowadays, YouTube has become one of the biggest video sharing platforms in the world. As YouTube increases, the number of creators also increases all around the world. You should know that YouTube takes copyright infringement very seriously and a YouTube claim to be violating the actual owner's copyright is usually taken down or blocked if an individual publish a video created by someone else without valid permission or license then he is liable to copyright infringement. YouTube does not allow any user to use the content of the original owner. There are two main reasons to take down or block a published video. So the first one is takedown action. These actions occur when an infringer uploads content or video of an original creator without any permission or license. The actual owner can file a takedown notice through the platform. This notice is a legal notice regulated by the principles of law. After filing the notice, YouTube examines the notice and takes down the content if it is satisfied that the infringer has violated the owner's right. Now, the second one is mismatch of content ID. YouTube also developed a unique tool which is known as content ID. YouTube grants a unique content ID for videos to the owners of copyright. Whenever a video is published on YouTube, the algorithm of YouTube checks whether whether the video or audio uploaded is similar to the millions of those published to YouTube. If the uploaded video matches, YouTube by itself files a copyright claim for the owner, releasing the owner to take action by himself. So what can a YouTuber do when someone else copies your content? If the content ID of YouTube fails to recognize the copying content of an original creator, then a YouTuber can file a report for the duplication. First, you have to click the report video option found in the video that is claimed to be violating your right and then select the option infringes my rights and click on the option shown as infringes my copyrights once you ensure that you hold the rights for the content and if the content usage doesn't come under fair use then a takedown notice can be made by filing a web form given by the platform click on the submit copyright complaint button after that you have to state the party affected by the infringement and paste the violating video link and original link. YouTube gives an option to add more videos in case you find more than one copied video. To file a complaint under DMCA, you have to give your personal details like your name, address, contact numbers, email ID and etc. Also, you have to submit declaration stating that the notice made is in excellent fate, correct. The party is informed about the legal ramifications in the case of false notification. The complainant is the actual owner or certified agent who can act upon the violation of such rights. After the above step, YouTube will mail you regarding the takedown request authentication and inform the opposite party regarding the complaint filed against him. So what can you do when your video is removed for copyright infringement? Well, you can resort to these two remedies. First is filing a counter notice. When an owner files a takedown notice for publishing a video on YouTube without the owner's approval, YouTube takes down the video but the opposite party can file a counter notification for restoring the takedown video. This notification can be filed when the party confirms that their use of the content fails under the fair use of policy or if there is misrecognition of content by the owner in case the video is removed for other reasons. The opposite party has to wait till the expiry of the copyright strike. YouTube examines the notification and checks the grounds by which the creator has contested against the note takedown notice. Then the counter notification is given to the claimant. Within 10 days, the claimant must prove to commence a legal action to keep the content down. Now the second one is challenging a content ID claim. A YouTube creator whose video has been found similar to the existing content can challenge such claim. If the content was unidentified, if it's your original content, if the creator has valid license or certification to such content, if the usage of content comes under fair use or dealing. When a dispute regarding content ID is filed, the owner of the copyright has to respond within 30 days. If the copyright owner did not reply within 30 days, then the claim expires on its owner. The owner of copyright can support the claim, release the claim, take down your video. It can be fairly said that YouTube's copyright policy is strict and restrictive. Every content creator who wants to take benefits of YouTube's massive audience must be well aware of YouTube's copyright policy. Since an infringement case is quite a costly affair. I hope you like this video. For more updates, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.